In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Screencastify to record your screen and then share a link for anybody to view. Let's get started. The first thing that you need is you need the Screencastify Google Chrome extension. So if you don't have that, I'll put the link in the description below, but mine is right here. And when I click it, it's going to open up. Now, if I wasn't already signed in, you may have to sign in. So let me go to sign out here from the beginning and I'm going to click on it. It's going to take me to their main page and I'm going to just sign in with my Google account. Once I do that, it brings me to my account and yours will probably be blank if this is your first time doing it, but mine has many videos in it already. So once I do that, I can actually X out of this tab. I don't need to be there anymore, but I'm going to go back to the screen castify icon. When I click it this time, it's going to open up and it has a little bit of a dashboard for me. So I have my microphone. I can embed my webcam if I want to, and then I have more options down below. So you can change the countdown from three all the way to 10 seconds. You can show drawing tools if you had a stylus and you wanted to draw on screen. And you can also turn on your system audio. So if you had music or something on there as well, or you wanted to hear all of the dings and clicks, I'm going to keep those off for this purpose. What I want to do next is I want to record and I want to record just my desktop. So when I click record, it's going to ask me what screen I would like to record because I have a couple of different screens here. Okay, so I'm going to pick the screen that I am going to record from. It gives me my countdown and then it is recording my screen. I am then able to do what I need to do. So if I wanted to import questions into this practice set, I'm going to open up the PDF that I want, scroll down to where I have some questions. And then with practice sets, all you have to do is drag around where your question is. And even if you stop, you can go ahead and resize it however you want. And I'm going to choose to grab the choices here. And it's not one at a time. You can do this and maybe skip the second one and go to number three. It's a really slick tool. Once you're done and you have all the questions that you want, you click on import questions and they just come right into your screen. So the first one right here, I'm just going to delete because it's blank and, and it changes my numbers for me. You're then able to change to single select and add your choices and pick which one is the correct answer and assign it to a student. But this is about Screencastify, not practice sets. Once my recording is finished, I can go back up to the icon in the tray above and I can click on stop. Now, how do I share this? Well, before I share it, the one thing that I want to make sure that I do is I want to make sure that I name it. And you can see that it's muted up top here, so you could click to unmute if you want to hear yourself back. Maybe you aren't giving any voice to this video at all, and that's fine too. Up top, you're going to change what is here. So I'm going to call it Screencastify Video. And then over on the right side, you will see that we want to copy a drive link, but right now it's private. Only you can view the video. And if you want to share this with somebody else, you want to make sure that you change this drop down. So we are going to make it public. Anyone can find the video and view it. And then you're going to click on copy drive link. Now you're able to paste that link into an email or a Google Classroom assignment or share it however you need to in order to get that video to the person that you want to view it. Hope this helped. Hey, thanks for watching. If you want to see more videos like this, subscribe to the Parks and Education YouTube channel or check out one of the two videos over here.